Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more free Ren, you guys. Last time was so good. It was so nice just to have like a little bit of a return to like the sort of cozy, nice, sweet, cute, you know, sort of like feels like the calm before the storm before we jump on into the next test in the in the whole tournament. Um, I guess next test in the bigger test, I guess would be a better way to put it. Since technically this whole thing is a test. I mean, it's it's getting a little intense. I'm not I'm I I I've, I've been getting hunter exam vibes for a while, but all right. So, before I get into my lingering thoughts in the last episode, I do just want to say if you are joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and also subscribe for me. That does help me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, all right, you guys. We had such a fun episode last time. Like it was, a, it was very much like a return to form. I feel like for kind of what we started out with on the series, just kind of like reminiscing and learning what we mean to each other. And we had this great. Oh my god, the thing in the restaurant! I just love it. Is someone whose love language is food. I cannot tell you how much I appreciated a food centric, loving flashback. Uh, that's that means everything to me that really really does and I think Himmel was a real one for just trying to make sure that you know this was to Freerun's exact taste throughout her lifetime of course you know a flip side of that being nothing stays the same forever it's kind of the way that life goes it's one of the things that's beautiful about life is that things change and you get to experience new things and um and that's a good thing so it was it was kind of like a two in one lesson, and then we had a little bit with Duncan, kind of like having a similar situation with his wife, where he had been at this restaurant with her, and we know now he's trying to get to see her, um, which is very very similar to uh, you know our situation with Free Rent at the moment. Um, so yeah, guys, now we have this test coming up. We have the other instructor doing the test this time. Don't ask me. I will learn the names. Don't expect miracles. It will take a bit, but you know who I'm referring to. Um, they are going, actually, wasn't it like Sense or something? Was it Sense? Did I just randomly like pull it out of my behind? Like by, by accident? No, probably not. But anyway, the other instructor who has never passed anyone ever um, is about to encounter free run. And I got to tell you, it is definitely a little intense that we're going into the situation where like it's going to be so hard to pass. However, they never met Free Run. You know what I mean? Like, it's Free Run. Yeah, enough said. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see where this is all going. It did sound like it would be a little bit of a different take on this test, almost maybe more of like a, I don't know why, what was it that was said that I was like, I wonder if this is going to be a little bit like, not so much a battle, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I can't remember, but there is one way to find out and that is to dive right back in to the next episode of Free Run. Let's do this. Raiding a dungeon. I did an escape room like this and it was super fun. Oh, all right. What's the catch? Oh, so in other words, figure it out. Oh, well now. I see. But you'll be there. Okay. Learning. Okay. Yeah, they're safe enough. That's what you want to hear. So if you really need to get out, use your golem. Okay, so it is timed. If you dislike fighting, 
and the goal is to get to the bottom. My guess is there's going to be a bunch of things that are going to put you in a position where you would need to fight, and you're not supposed to do that. Doing that is not the right course of action. Which, for people who are naturally, like, a little bit more into fighting, is going to be difficult. Okay. Oh, well, because maybe you should work together. Yeah, why would we, that's, did you say that they just like fighting? Like, why, what's the difference? We can all, we can all, okay. Yeah, but what is the difference? We're, it's not like we have to compete. See, this is going to be a thing where, like, we have to work together. And it's going to be hard for them. That's why nobody's ever reached. Maybe they all have to get there in order for, you know what I mean? Like, what if it's a thing where, like, they literally need, like, all of them to, like, open a door or something? Yeah. They're not as wise as you, Duncan. Yeah. They'll probably realize it too late. Oh, you've taken an interest. They definitely are getting... Oh. Fair. Fair. Hmm. probably saw quite a few of those. Oh, of course it was. Well, it's the whole hero thing. The hero goes in the dungeons and defeats the dragons. And <laughs> How is this relaxing? Even this is relaxing. Okay. So we've gone to the bottom of a dungeon before. You have to be able to see the bigger picture. All the more reason to know what we're getting into. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, so that's kind of how Freeman feels about spells. Yeah, with, with his friends by his side. You are beautiful, Himmel. Like, you are a beautiful person. Oh, oh, round grandma, you say? <laughs> yeah. You're not coming at this from the place you are. Oh, because there's traps like that. Okay. I think you'd be surprised. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, we're having a whimsical moment. Are we going to be falling for traps? Yeah, we're going to be falling for traps. There is a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are for real. Oh, free run. I hope you're right, sweet. Okay. And we're... <laughs> And there's teeth. It's dark and scary and there's teeth. I've never seen Freeman freak out before. It's so crazy. I've never seen her freak out before. Yeah. You just, she, she had to touch the stove, you guys. She had to touch the stove. <laughs> oh my God, that's his face. I mean, here's the thing. If you put a possible grimoire in front of Freeran, it really doesn't matter what kind of common sense 
empty. It does not matter. We're always going to choose. Is it is it crazy to say that Denkin might be the most like logical sound person in here? Whoa. Okay. Well, that's a, it's a lot more of a threat than the the mimic. Ooh, scary looking guard and guard wheels. Ah! Oh. Oh God! I re I I should have seen that coming. No! No! Uh uh. Nope. No thanks. No thank you. Oh. We're thinking on our feet. Cool. Oh, ow. Oh. Huh. Oh god. Oh god. Uh-oh. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't want to I don't want to see this. No. I don't want to see that. Oh, Jenkins about to do something cool. Shoot. Oh, God. Break your bottle. Do it. Break the bottle. Break the bottle. Hun. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Gollum. Nice. Okay. All right. You know what? It's better than dying. Yeah. It's like a death. Oh, a there's got to be a better way to do this than pulling her as it's gra as the teeth are grazing her. Yeah, there's got to be a better way. Precisely, precisely. Push. It makes the mimic choke. Okay. It's like when your dog has a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's right over here too. She's around here somewhere. You could have done that this time. Yeah. We don't want to mess up the do. <laughs> oh, you look cute, Freeman. Okay. At least we're anticipating the moving. I, I, I'm, you know what? Falling for it again is... Yeah, okay. You gotta touch the stove sometimes. Got some loot. <laughs> Since it's bored. <laughs> Chudgy. You know, it's like it's a, it's a fun little bobbles, you guys. I, I really don't want to know where that treasure's been. I would not be rubbing that anywhere near my face. You could say that. She has passion for certain things. Hmm. We're doing this for him. We used all we had and now we're just, wow, honey. It's dark. Because she does have passion for the people around her. And she loves seeing them happy. <laughs> she might seem just passionate, but she has people she cares about. It's so interesting. She is an awful lot like Free Rin. Uh oh. Not crazy about the way they're setting up this scene. Oh, that voice sounds familiar. You guys probably told me. <laughs> oh. oh. So wait, is it, um... Oh, hey, we have the flower spell! Hey! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We could plant a lot. So there's other mages concealing their manner, or is it? Oh, 
they're um they're ma they're mim are they mimics or like clone thingies mimic clone thingies oh oh Ooh! oh wow okay oh they're it's a replica i mean they're disintegrating like demons that's crazy It is almost kind of like the ghost thing. Maybe worse, though. That's true. Yeah, it's, it looks like stone. Uh-oh. What are we looking at? I thought maybe we reached the bottom. What are we looking at? Oh, we would have gotten out of here. Oh, uh oh! You really don't want to fight something that has all of the skills and behavior of Free Ren. That is a big problem. Oh, that's going to be the end of the episode. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. All right. Oh, man, you guys. Wow. Um, this is pretty bad for our friends, I got to admit. Uh, like I was saying, if it was Free Ren versus Free Ren, it would be very, very tough because you're so evenly matched. But, um,. But with anyone else versus free run, I just, I don't even think, like, this whole thing has, like, one of the things in the back of my mind this whole time has been, like, free run can basically face anything. Like, I know she's getting tricked by mimics, and it's funny, and she's getting, like, half eaten by the treasure chest and everything, and it's funny, and it's cute. But, like, at the end of the day, like, against any real threat, free run over everyone. Like, just, yeah, yes, she's so OP. So having such a detailed copy of her and they went out of their way to establish that it's not just a copy of their fighting skill. It's not just a copy of their, it's a copy of like their behavior, their attitudes, their, the way that they'd enforce those moves, their memories. That's going to be pretty bad. I got to say, um, I don't, I don't know where we're going with that, but it's, it's nowhere good. We might have to go ahead and use that golem. We might have to go ahead and do that. Um, either that or we have to figure out... Look, taking this head on is not going to be an option. We need to find a way to dispel the magic somehow. Um, see, if they had all gotten together, which I get why Freeman and Fern were like, okay, well, there's no chance of us all going in at the same time. Now we're just going to go in on our own. And to be fair with Freeman, that kind of works because, like, she's definitely going to be the strongest one there. But, like, it's too bad because if they had all been together, or at least, like, the, the groups, like, Freerun and Fern and Duncan's group, Freerun could have at least been there to give input and maybe would have been able to recognize or offer some kind of help with, like, okay, it looks like it might be this kind of magic. What can we do to, like, dispel the magic? You know, I think that's going to be our only option. I don't think taking Freerun head on, copy Freerun, is even going to be an option. Like, that's not a smart thing to do. Um, but yeah, I can see now how this was kind of developed by somebody passive because there are so many ways to kind of outthink the dungeon. Um, there is some head on fighting, I think required possibly, but I think that there's a lot bigger chance of you being able to like get around it or find a quick way around it with the least kind of resistance. Um, if you have a big group of all different kinds of people and everything, and that's what I was saying, I'm like... But of course they're going to be like, nah, we don't have to work together. Yeah, but you don't have to not work together. Like, what does it benefit you to not work together? You know what I mean? It's not like they're competing. The only real competition here is just that, like, the golems are all going to smash at the same time, no matter what, like, the next morning. Other than that, it's not like who made it their fastest, who did it. Like, there's no benefit to thinking selfishly in this. And I can see now how it was developed by someone who is very passive, or a pacifist, rather. Might, might be a better way to put it. Um, so, like, the smart thing to do is to work all together and use everybody's strengths. I mean, but see, that's what we're dealing with. So we're dealing with a lot of, like, fighter mentality type kind of people. You know? I I do appreciate that there is someone in the Magic Association who has an appreciation for kind of like being a mage without the um like without the desire to kind of like 
outdo each other, like, you know what I mean, outfight each other. I appreciate that, especially considering that so many people's motivations at this point are to get something out of being a first class mage. Um, but at the same time, like, I feel like, yeah, kind of having that motiv motivation for an association in the first place is probably going to attract the type of people <laughs> who are going to, you know what I mean? Like, kind of be more battle oriented um, or at least like competition oriented, I think is a better way to put it. Maybe battle oriented isn't a good because it's not just battle. It's just like, it's kind of like every person for themselves, but like there's literally no benefit. There's literally no benefit to doing this by yourself. It, it's <laughs> just feels like a no-brainer but okay I mean even in competitions where like it is only going to be like one person who makes it out or one person who makes it out first or anything like that the idea of having an alliance up to that point is usually like a pretty sound strategy in a situation like this so yeah whatever um Duncan gets it nobody else gets it well, a couple people get it but um, I love the little moment we have with Fern here too, that like, she's so kind of like dispassionate and everything is like, well, then, then why even do this? And it's because without realizing it, she may have been doing this just to make up a debt to one person, but without even realizing it, she let some other people into her heart and now they're her motivation. And I just love that. We know that Stark is in her heart too, but Freerun first, obviously, is the person who kind of like trained her and helped sort of kind of raise her. I mean, maybe not raise her, but like she's definitely there for her growing up. So, um... So yeah, I, I love that. I love that. And she just reminds me so much of Freerun and that like, you know, you kind of think that you're on one path for one reason and you didn't realize that along the way you made all these amazing, beautiful connections and memories and relationships and everything. So um, yeah, guys, I wonder if Freerun's copy has all of the good stuff too, like all of the stuff that she learned from from their travels back in the day and everything. I don't know. It kind of sounded like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, how deep does that go? Is it an exact copy? I guess we'll find out. Um, great episode, you guys. The second test is definitely, like, they were smart to make them so different. And this one is definitely, I feel like, a little bit more of a cerebral test, which is fun and interesting. Um, so, yeah. We got shenanigans. We've got copies. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please stick around for next time because I definitely need your help. And we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.